Salam and Salam. Welcome to lecture 41. The title is Four Wives is a Crime Against the Quran. So I gave this lecture two years before and uh, this YouTube management they remove all my 157 lectures. So some of them I'm repeating with some changing, you know. So these lectures which I had, it is coming on our website very soon. So we have recovered from the YouTube and I think very soon you will have all these lectures in our website. So Bismillah Rahman Rahim. The immunity should smile, happy, because this chronic constitution, it maintain or supply you or give you development or environmental, favorable environment, environmental for the growth and the development, gradual and as well as intensive time. So both kind of nourishment is available if you put this constitution in any country regardless you know Muslim, non-Muslim, Hindus, Christian, Jew. So this is for everyone. It's a beautiful constitution. But the tragedy that they they convert into the religion and when religion comes then you know you know what happened. So prior to go into details about the four marriages myth, it is essential to explain the term Naka and Akal. Both has the same meaning, a little bit difference, you know. So Akal means tied, give the knot when you put some knot on the rope and tied firmly, that is known as Akad. So it also means contract, compact, con covenant, agreement, league, treaty and engagement. So this is the meaning of Akad. But Quran does not use this word for the marriage Akad or whatever they are saying, Quran does not use this word for Akad, for man and woman marriage. You know. Then the second word is nikah. This nikah is a, also a type of union between two parties or joining together of two companies or of a man and a woman to create a strong family unit. It is also contract. But Quran does not use this word also for, um, for the marriage or the, for the spouse and for the Nikah for marriage, you know, Quran does not use. Quran use it for other purpose, agreement between different party, different nation. So I selected these two verses, but it is does not talk anything about marriage because marriage is also nikah. It is a contract. So you can assign this name, but. You cannot blame or say this is in a word as used in the Quran. Similarly, the word talaq is not, Quran has not used it word for talaq, for divorce, you know. So when we will come in detail all these, you know, terminology, then you will get clear picture. What happened? What is the meaning of these things? So to adhere and link by legal and moral bonds, between two organizations are to stay together as by the strong adhesion of parts as though as through mixing of ingredients when you mix some ingredients that is also nuka and these trees when they are overlapping the branches of the tree overlapping to each other so that is also Quran use that word nuka so nuka let me discuss about the Arabic what is the, from where this word has been derived? It's a natural, 
It's a universal definition of a calm giving you. Signifies a close association between sleep and eyes. What is your look? Quran bring very good, you know, um, you know this uh, word or terminology. It's a nature. It's organic. Sleep and eyes. How? Under the influence of sleep, it becomes difficult for a person to keep his her eyes open. When you are under, you know, sleep, you cannot open your eyes. It is such a potent force that if he, even a condemned person falls under its influence and sleep on the hard, rock hard floor of the cell, it's a very strong force because sleep refreshes your mind. The neuron which is in your mind, the used one go in the back and the fresh piece come to record your daily activity. So the eyelids become heavy and stiff together, covering the eyeball, the state of deep sound sleep is known as an nas. This is an nas. When the humanity will live together, nas, the way the Quran uses this word, for the people, when you live together in peace, prosperity, or many just like what is the you know this uh, uh, I had the connection with the sleep, so that is in the car. But now our planet is not in the car. Everywhere there is a chaos, disorder, depression, anxiety. So when a person wakes up, wakes up after having satisfied sleep, or he or she totally refreshed, satisfied, and happy. This is the definition of Nika. So if your marriage is good, if your companionship is good, in any, in your office, in your house, in your country, in your society, it is Nika Nas. In addition, Nika is second, another definition of Quran. Each word of the Quran has a society. That is why they could not change the Quran, but they change the wording. Today, the words we are discussing for this purpose, they twisted, they corruption, they made the corruption in the translation. 180 degree, rather 360 degree. In the Kaa is the first drop of the rain that penetrated deep into the parched soil to invigorate new life. You know, suppose there is a Desert, in that desert, there is no rain from the last 10 years or 5 years to it. The first drop when they fall in the desert, so they penetrate in deep into the, you know, this desert and this whole atmosphere become refresh happiness. So this, this means the thrust of the land is quenched and eventually blooming is ensured. This situation is summoned up as a Nika Matur Ard. So this Nika means the water penetrate into the dry land, barren land or desert. So it has a Nika. So that land become pleasant, blooming, lot of vegetable. So this is the meaning of Nika. Akta Dunnika signifies the firm contract agreement among us the spouse of between two parties or bring happiness, prosperity, safety, and mutual respect. So this is the I have given you in summary of the Nika. But you can go my uh, you know this lecture which I have delivered two years ago. I have given in detail what is the meaning of Nika, how, what is the roots of this word. So, in every society, if economy is weak, then all kind of corruption are up over there. And one of the, you know, eruption, uh, you know, bad thing or evil thing appears in the society, that is the economic, 
you know, disorder. In all the poor countries there is a prostitution in Philippines, in Pakistan, in Tunis, so in Cuba. It is and all other it is because of the 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 maximum, the big reason behind this prostitution is economic problem. So that is why the Quran first start from this I will I leave the you know four one so I start from here. The Quran informed that it will be painful and massive crisis if you will not solve the problem of poverty, the weak class of the society. Now this planet is under massive chaos, disorder, because economically 75% population of this beautiful planet is in, is in a, is a economic slavery. It has been controlled by 25% of this world and then corporation, then our president, leaders and then the political party and then the department. So that is the chaos now. So what Quran gives the solution? وَآتُوا الْيَتَامَ أَمْوَالَمْ وَلَا تَبَدُّ الْخَبِيسَ بِالْتَيَّبْ وَلَا تَاكَلُوا أَمْوَالَهُمْ إِلَى الْأَمْوَالَكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ هُوبًا كَبِيرًا The Quran said and pursue in right way وَآتُوا or give them or process them Atu. regarding the financial affairs amwalahum of the isolated and poor and poor people al yatama our priest would just give the translation i don't want to waste my time yatama the orphan that's it but quran saying any person who's, who has been isolated from the mainstream of the society because of this poverty or any other problem, he is a yitim, he is a yitam. And do not substitute wala tabaddullah, worthless stuff, stuff or policy al khabis. Khabis means those people who want to amass the wealth. They have no mind, they have no conscious. All these uh, capitalists or rich people, they are sick. They have disease or virus to amass the wealth, control the wealth. This is a khabis. For what is good ones or what good place? Good policy will tell you. So don't change the good laws with the bad laws for your benefit. Now it is happening. All these religious leader or our ruler leader or all the rich people, whenever, wherever they want, take good thing. And for the 75% people, a population of this planet, they are in a anxiety, they are in a poverty. And do not make mayas or laws or authority to dominate. Don't make franchise. Don't make corporation. Let the small business should come up. Don't control them. We are in a crisis now because we are under the slavery of, of these corporation or the electronic media or all other kind of banking insurance, it is a, you know, crisis, serious crisis for us. Possession or belonging with mixing your amwalam. Amwalam. Don't devour the, the rights of those people who are the men, who are the inhabitants of the land. And the, you know, this religious leader, they are eating everything. 
like this corporation, they have they are working at least, they are hire some people, they give them salary, then they work and you know, take the but the the most dangerous category on this planet is the religious people. Not only Islam, all the religious people, they are all parasite. So they are devouring the you know hard earning of the poor people. They are idiots, you know, they are innocent. Indeed, it will lead the society in the massive, painful and grieve crisis. We are in a crisis. Hoban Kabira, all your houses, homes, they are controlled by banks. In Saudi Arabia, all the oil money or all in other Islamic it is controlled by the royalty. It's a crisis. In every country now on this planet, the ruling class is controlling everything. So you have to think. You cannot fight with them. But you start thinking. So this is a crisis. Holland Kabira. Hoban Kabira means grievous crisis. Then the Quran bring this verse 430, 4.3. This is the only verse in the Quran on the basis of our religious people, corrupt people, criminal people, they translated the four wives from this. They are opening the religious prostitution by using this verse. I will translate you far and you can decide yourself. The first thing is this, if the God allow you four wives, so what is the problem with the woman? Why she, she cannot have the four husband? Even for if we, if we agree with their translation, that Quran has given the permission for four wives, but the Quran doesn't mention anything about wives, so she can have more than four, five, six, seven, ten, no, no limit for her. So she is free to do that. Why you are not giving this right to her? This is a tragedy, you know. This is a religious prostitution. They use the religion, they use the name of Allah, Muhammad and all the other and then they are starting. Okay, the same thing Quran. If in khuftum ala taqshatu fil ayatama fannaku ma taaba lakum min an-nisa masna wa salasa wa ruba wa in khuftum ala taadalu wa wadatan aw ma malakat imanukum zalaka adna natriya So here Quran is saying and let us see that if you fear that you should not be able to deal justly with the orphans, marry women of your choice. Orphan, if it is an orphan, then both male and female they can be orphan. Anasa, they take women. Anasa does not mean woman. Anasa means the weak segment of the society. It is male, female, children, old people, transgender even. Look, the what they done? Orphan, marry woman of your choice. Who has given them woman? Two or three or four, but if you fear that you should not be able to deal justly with them, then, then only one, a captive, slave. So these are the translation. Why four? Why not five? Why not three? Why four? Because they are the illiterate. They don't know the Arabic language. These translation have been, you know, made based on the heresy, saying these tradition, 
they did not go to the grammar they did not go to the lexicalic roots so this is a problem so let me just give you the translation of this look in the, this verse the quran is talking about the weak segment of the society giving you what you have to do don't do any injustice don't collect the money in few hand now he can let me solve the problem if you are worried that you might not be able to do the economic justice still the process is under you know economic process under you know progressive so there is a, some problem it is not completed this constitution because of any reason in any country in sudan if you think it will take time so what quran is advising with the broken community fil yatama same word here yatama same word then in this situation you may come and mingle or get close association annaku this is a right meaning kamangal or get close association go to them talk to with them softly annaku with what seem suitable to you mata balakum all suitable for them or what they think both you can use this you know phrases both mean from the weak segment of the society min nisa you know where the word nisa in the quran the put the wife where the word zawaj come the put the wife where the word come imrat wife finish and quran does not use this word for wife zawaj mean both husband and wife zawaj mean pair day and night zawaj beauty and the beast zawaj light and darkness zawaj electricity negative positive zawaj magnet pole north west zawaj pair of shoes zawaj the train track is zawaj it's a you know everything in this cosmos going establish or operating under the zawaj they are sporting to each other wife and husband they are zawaj so this is a tidy they put men nisa over here the wife on the woman you may take the economic responsibility of two or three this example or four or more if you can afford give them job give them some sport don't give them fish teach them how to fish because if you will give them fish then they will come again and again and you will creating a parasite in the society don't give any donation don't give any charity they are all devouring your money put the people give them job or make for them small business so that they can start from but now all the franchise they have made that you put the money if you want to take any franchise you give the money both women man and woman and the whole family become the slave over there you have to listen them if they hold the franchise you have they will ask you use our toilet chemical use our brand use our this and that otherwise they will you know cancel the fran- franchise so this is a quran is giving that if the situation is so bad now everywhere this situation look sudan in pakistan in all other country this is the situation so if the government is unable or there is a no government then as a community we should help each other 
when a government will fall, okay, they will do it. But now, in Pakistan, people are suiciding. In Lebanon, the situation is very bad. Look in Palestine. We have created it. In America. So this is the Quran is saying. Then stay alone or away or isolate yourself. If you cannot be the you know take the responsibility of any person, then no problem. Because if you make the promise, you have to give them their wages timely. And other better opinion if you already have anyone under your responsibility. And they translated for these slave girls. And slavery is a crime in the Quran. Surah Muhammad, you can see that. And now the, look the translation. This Yusuf, slave. Yeah, a captive, look. So this is a carry on this duty that will be more suitable not to suffer under economic burden. If you cannot afford, no problem. But as a community, we have to solve this problem. We have to sacrifice. If someone is, at, is without food or without job, don't give him food, give him the job. Let him should work. So now, this is a Quran, there is a no four wives or no any, you know, this religious prostitution, but they twisted the translation and they make the justification for four wives and male. But now let me give some, then Islamic, you know, Adiz, Fikha and all these translators, they twisted, they kept to the translation and um, now they want to support it. It's Islamic tradition, David and Suleiman wives. Islamic tradition and Hadith carry the stories that both David and Suleiman had 99 to 100 wives. If they are saying there are four wives, according to their translation, then David and Suleiman were the rebellious of the Allah. Why? If the Quran has permitted four wives, why they why they kept ninety nine or hundred wives? They don't know what they are saying. Their senses are jammed. According to prop, according to a popular tradition, there was a time when David was living with ninety nine wives. Why not hundred them? So this is all insult of Suleiman and Dao. And if you go to Bible literature, it is mentioned that there are 600 wives, Suleiman, you know, in, in Islamic literature and tradition. And there are also the same thing in Bible. So we copy from them. Because of this verse which I have given, it is not about the wives. It is not about the marriage. For, for marriage. Then Bukhari, Imam Bukhari reported about Suleiman who was enjoying the company of 60 to 70 wives and explained how he got a deformed son after completing with 70 wives in the one night. I don't want to go in that because he did not say Bismillah Rahman Rahim and the child he got it was Handicapped child, handicap. Do you think Bukhari was sitting over there? He was watching when Suleiman was sleeping with her wife, with his wife, you know. So think now. However, Sunni scholar also made unbelievable blunders, mistake. They never check the authenticity of these writings from the Quran. 
the junk literature places a number of Muhammad wives from 11 to 12. This is the name. And Aisha is not in, none of them in the Quran mentioned. And Khatija mean that woman who delivered premature child and she was a Christian. So this is a, because if the Quran, if Muhammad did 14 marriage, then according to their translation, he is a rebellious of the Quran. But thanks God there is no such thing over there that you should, you know, make four wives open your harm under the religious prostitution. So this is a serious crisis we have. And then these are the wives. And now the, in the Quranic society, wife and husband shall be perfectly matched with respect to their ages, peers, taste, habits, and views to ensure building up of a completely harmonious relationship between them, Arab and Taraban. Quran does not put that your wife should be only Muslim. We are not Muslim, you know, first of all. We are a bunch of idiot people. So what Quran is saying that your Armenian opinion, your philosophy, your age, you can marry Jew, you can marry Hindu, and Hindu can marry Muslim or American, no. And this nationality is a crisis. It's a big crisis for the human being. On the basis of nationality, this ruling class, they are controlling all the resources, they put the boundaries. This is a great crisis for the humanity. We should go against this nationality. They put the boundaries. They divided the people. And further, the religious people, they divided the humanity based on the sect, based on religion. How we can bring the peace on this planet? Look, Khalifa Harun Rashid, the greatest caliph in the history of Islam, the golden period of the Islam, almost had 3,900 wives and concubines in his harm. And he was taking them to the Hajj for Umrah. And in his era, <coughs> this Quran was corrupted, Hadith was written. This is all corruption. Haru Rishi did it. <clears throat> for dancing, separate women. For drinking, separate women. Only, and this hajab has come from him because he had, a, he had a 37 women. I don't remember now exactly. And he was keeping them in hajab. This hajab is a gift of Haru Rishi to a woman who has been who is wearing this hijab. It has nothing to do with the Islam. And any woman who, who wears the hijab, she deprives herself from the fresh air. So that in golden era, Islam was deviated from the this right track. It was dislocated from the pivotal position of the Quran from the key position of the Quran. He did it. Now, what is the prostitution? Why I bring it? Because all their literature is a religious prostitution. And I have written a one book on this. It is also coming very soon now. Well, let me first define what is the prostitution. Prostitution, the practice of engaging sexual activity in general with someone who is not spouse or friend. In exchange for immediate payment in money or other valuables. Why I brought this definition, I'll let you know. In USA, the most advanced and civilized country has divided the prostitution in three broad categories street prostitution, 
brothel prostitution and escort prostitution. So these are three available. This is a more civilized, advanced country. It's a prostitution is an insult of the humanity for both. Woman, she, what she can do if, if she has no money, where she has to go? And no women like this to sell her body. No. And the man is responsible for that. So now muta, a religious prostitution, or muta or religious prostitution, a source of in, innumerable illegal spouses. They are saying that in muta, spouses, but it is not legal. It's a religious prostitution. The narrator asks, I'll give you two, three from Shia literature now. The narrator asks Imam Jafar Sadiq, just like our Bukhari, Jafar Sadiq is also the same thing. He also fabricated thousands of, you know, and other also. I don't want to go in that dirty room, but I selected three over here. What is the minimum compensation prescribed by Muta with a woman, he answered, I can, it cannot be anything, maybe a fistful of wheat, give the one fistful of wheat and you are okay. But at least, here the prostitute, they are making some money, but in their religious prostitution, it is a religious prostitution, she does not get anything. And this sexual predator, they are destroying them. Then muta is a kind of marriage that may be arranged to last for a very short time. It neither requires any witness nor a period of idha, any time, five minutes, one hour. If you going from Tehran to Sharaz, you can hire the girl. That is a muta. The minimum compensation that could be paid to a woman for the sexual slavery is one dirham. One dirham. What she will do? They are insulting the woman because it's a religion. They don't res they don't have any respect for the a woman. You know. Woman is a sign of sin. Less than twenty five cent. One dirham. And this is a reference I have given for a copy if you want to check, go and check it. Because they are the Mu'mineen Shia. Their Mawla is Ali. Another hadith from Shia. Zara said, I asked the Imam Jafar Saad, Sadiq with how many girls or women one can enter? Muta. Listen, this is Khomeini Islam, which Iran is saying is Islam. Berlin is saying it's Islam. Syria is saying it's Islam. Muta, at this time, he answered, with as many as one like. No limit. And jai openly. Give them fist of wheat. Give them one dharam, twenty-five cent, and enjoy. How many? These are the just hard females. Hard females. This is for our coffee. This is the most important hadith book I have taken from there. So, and their Shia or Ma say, Muta, Muhammad did the Muta, Ali did the Muta, and if you will do the Muta, you will go to paradise. Well, the verse which I have given, it is not about marriage, it is not about wife, but they open this religious prostitution. Sunni, 
a way of religious prostitution, not the Sunni. Sunni has fabricated halala and misra marriage. This is also religious prostitution. The Gnostics and the most degrading violation of nikah is the institution of halala. The overnight marriage, one night marriage. In American slang, it is equivalent to a one night stand or flame. The term halala is an Arabic word meaning lawful according to the Islamic Sharia. This halal, this is same word. Oh, this is a halal or not? This is halal. The Quran has used that all these 50 Islamic Islamic countries, they are haram. And they are finding the halal meat, halal wine, halal food. What a pathetic nation it is. Go to their ruler, they are all haram, un, unlawful government. They are saying we are Muslim. Why they are not putting the constitution of the Quran in their government? It's a Islamic Sharia. Islamic law enforced by the priesthood. This is Sharia. Now they implement Sharia in England. If a husband addressing his wife announces three, I divorce you in a burst of anger or in a calm, cool and collected manner, then his nakah with his is over. Finish. Because it's a priesthood decree. She turned a stranger to him and cannot stay under the same roof with him. It is there with her. So these are the people then, they ask her that you stay one night with any person, consume nukha with him and then you will go, if you want to go your previous husband, then you can again make a nukha. And sometimes the clergyman, they use him or her for one night and sometimes the student in Madrasa, they they fight with their imam, they said, why you are not giving to us, we are young. Because they are all doing homosexuality in all 70,000 Madrasa in Pakistan. So these are the fatwa, whether they are Christ, uh, Shia or Sunni or Wahhabi or Jobbandi, they are all, you know, Crime, doing the crime. So these angelic looking ayatollah, look their address, black, turbans, or Maulana, or Shia, or Sunni, or Wahhabi, or Deobandi, religious leader, or scholars with long dyed beard, you know, they have special color put in their beard, wearing Sindhi, or Baluchi stylish cap, Dress in a flowing green or brown or black robes, they are putting the robes in there. With ceremonial turbines, turbans, sorry, turbans, like Saudi style, headgear, white or red, in color, are sexual predators and are responsible for open rebellious re rebellion against the Quranic constitution. So this is, Quran never talk of these things. So this is, they did it. They are responsible for this. So avoid from them. Don't listen to their fatwas, misra, alala, or mata. It is insult of the species of the woman. Look, you know this uh, in Lahore there is a mosque known as Bashai Mosque. It was built by the Mughal Empire. So you see near to that there is a red light area in Lahore, Pakistan. So what they used to do, their army people, their soldier went to these women 
in the rendered area and then they come back to the mosque to purify this sin, what they did. So this is red light area and the next is a great mosque. So these are these were not Muslim. Thank you very much.